Well, hello again. Time for a quick update. Um, way back in the first video, either the first or the second one, I talked about uh, my plans for the uh, display base for the USS Constellation build that I'm working on. And I decided I wanted to do something that was more than just uh, putting the model on a display stand and leaving it at that. So, I came up with this idea that what I wanted to do was <clears throat> put an image of the uh, Doomsday Machine Maw right here so that when the model is sitting on the stand people can take a glance at it and go oh now I know what that models from because they would see the Doomsday Machine on the stand well rather than just doing a uh, flat image like that, I wanted something that had a little bit of 3D relief. So, first thing I did was, um, thanks to uh, TrekWeb's help, I was able to get a couple of reasonably high resolution screen captures. And with those, I took a... Uh, <clears throat> I took the image off of uh, one of these printouts here, cut it out, and it had the uh, internal image. When I was done getting it, I uh, cut the internal image out of the middle and used that to create the uh, outline for the inner part of the maw. So I've got the outer part, I've got the inner part right there. Don't know how well you can see that. There we go. But, um, drew a uh, simple pencil outline. I didn't worry about getting it too, too precise, as I'll explain in a moment. And with that, with my inner outline and my outer outline, then I had uh, something where I could actually sculpt a shape. So, using Milliput, which is a two-part epoxy putty, specifically that stuff right there, standard yellow-gray. Uh, basically you cut off, well, here let me show you. <clears throat> basically the way this stuff works, if I can get the bags out, is you got two bags of putty, two sticks as it were. Um, you open up the bags, cut off an equal portion of each, and mold it together until you get a uniform color. And it shapes like clay. You can feather it with water. Um, didn't really have to do that in this case. Um, it works great as a, uh, as a heavyweight filler or to bulk out uh, sections on a model, but for my use, I was just basically doing a little bit of... Um, sculpting like one would do with clay. Something more freeform rather than something specifically based on a real shape. So, using the milliput, I sculpted this ring that you see right here, <clears throat> which is sort of based on the, uh, the Doomsday Maw shape. Didn't get uh, too precise with it. I mean, I, I did follow the uh, general shape for the most part, as you can see. <clears throat> and when I was uh, done with that, I uh, primered it. Checked it for defects, didn't really see anything that looked like it was worthy of filling or sanding, mainly because <clears throat> the structure of the Doomsday Machine, I mean, yeah, they say it's made out of solid neutronium, obviously didn't, didn't really have a way to sculpt it properly, and it looked kind of beat to heck, so any flaws I had in my uh, sculpting kind of accented those to a certain extent. Primered it, and today I... Uh, Got done airbrushing what you see right there into something that maybe not 
exactly that's not exactly what like what you see in the image but very close I mean uh, started off with like a base coat of uh, to me uh, uh, light blue went with some uh, darker intermediate blue and edges and some lightly, slightly lighter shades a lot of these uh, little <clears throat> striation patterns that you see in there those are uh, airbrushed on with uh, Model Master Duck Egg Blue a color that anybody who's ever done an Enterprise D probably knows all too well um, I'll probably leave it like that I don't know I, I've, I have been thinking about maybe uh, dry brushing some maybe dry brushing some thin wispy areas in a slightly lighter color to get some of that striation pattern but I am building a model of the constellation not necessarily one of the doomsday machine and I th think like that will look just fine but my plans are I'm going to paint the edge of this uh, plastic area, darken it down probably with black or a very dark gray because this conforms over the top really nice but there is still a little bit of an edge peeking out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, print a water slide decal using one of these artworks and lay it over just as you see it and sandwich that right over the top and where that's going to go when all is said and done, well, going to let's dismount the rod here. This is a temporary rod. It's a little longer than uh, what I plan to use for the uh, display base itself. So what I'll eventually do is I'll <coughs> put uh, Doomsday Machine Maw right there with the decal, punch a hole, mount the stand with support rod right there. And I will have it displayed approximately like that. Down here is going to go the uh, Constellation Dedication plaque, which I got from the uh, Ravel Classic USS Enterprise issue. And should result in a pretty classy stand display presentation. The, uh, the dedication plaque will go over another piece of uh, styrene cut to the proper shape to make it look like it's a uh, raised dedication plaque piece. And when I'm done, <coughs> support rod will go <laughs> like that approximately. And there we will have a uh, display stand. In case you're wondering how things are going with the Constellation itself are going okay. Um, did have a minor setback with it. I had to uh, move one of the battle damaged areas on the saucer ever so slightly. And, well, I won't show you the particulars on that because I don't want anybody to see what I had to do to the dang thing. But uh, next time you see it, I'll have some weathering done to the... Uh, warp engines and the battle damage areas and should be ready for decaling. I've got it I've got it gloss coated. So um, hopefully I'm about a week away from getting the whole project done. So that's where I am right now. Thank you for watching.